Hi, I'm the exterminator. An exterminator? So you used to be a terminator? No, I kill rats and bugs. And Sarah Connor? No, Peter, we have a rat. My stuff's in my truck. I'll be back. <gasps> All right, let's do it! Well, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna need someone who's very good at disguise. Who said that? I'd love to go with you, but I can't. I'm supposed to be at the gift table at a bar mitzvah tomorrow. Carter has something important to say to you. I'll set the mood. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba bird's the word. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba bird's the word. Well, I don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody knows that the bird is the word. Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? I live right over there. What? A plane crashes in your backyard and you don't say anything? This is Canada, eh? I thought it might be rude to intrude on your plane crash. Listen, why don't we head back to my place, grab a bite to eat, and watch the big curling match on TV? No, 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 and what does it matter what those people in church think? I mean, most of them are just random background people we've never seen before anyway. Half of them don't even move. The other half just blink. Hey, whose leg do you got a gagoosh to get an Amaretto di Serrano around here? Oh, forget it, Vinny. You're not Brian. Come on, I went you a lot of trouble. For example, I know Brian was rather into politics, so I read the newspaper. What is going on with all these politics, huh? Well, that is about Brian's level of political awareness. Whoa, what? I didn't know you worked out at this gym, too. Uh, hey, Brian, hang on. I'm just finishing a set. Come on, come on, two more. Come on, come on, you gotta want it. <coughs> nice job. Let's get you a rub down. Okay, for the first of our 65 performances tonight. Oh, oh gotta be kidding. Son of a bitch. I agree. Now, please welcome Meg Griffin and Ruth Cockhammer. No laughing. It's Kokomar! Not in the boys' room, it isn't. I'm not falling for another one of your excuses. I still haven't forgotten how you tried to get out of last week's fire drill. All right, everyone, fire drill. Let's go. Outside, now. Can I stay? I'm already on fire. No, Griffin. Fine. Don't even have a jacket. God, I can't get any peace and quiet in this house. Well, now you know how I felt at Mardi Gras. Keep it down! Trying to get some sleep up here! Show us your boobs! My boobs? I, I, I don't think I... Oh, my! Jewelry! Well, I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe Todd dream. So I put butter on a pop tart. It was so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Chris, what are you doing? Saving my ah! Ah! Oh my god. Chris, are you okay? I don't think so. I'm hurt pretty bad. Like that time I was running with scissors. <laughs> You'll run like a girl. Purr, purr, meow. Purr, purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. <laughs> Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning, anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me, anus. This violence juxtaposed to music, anus. Decapitation in slow motion, anus. Oh, hey, Bri. How's your night going? I hope Rupert and I haven't been too loud up there. Happy Valentine's Day! A 
Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh man, Brian gets his own balloon? This can't get any worse. In fact, Hops is so popular that hundreds of Quahog women have volunteered to blow up his balloon. It's just stuff I learned in health class. Well, you're clearly a bright young lady. And you've got quite a head on your shoulders. Thanks. I, I have to go. You're going to have to take things from here, I guess. What? What are you talking about? Well, you now know about as much as I do about this whole doctor thing. But I have no formal medical training. Ah, you'll be fine. I think that book on the shelf has most of the stuff in there. And don't forget the cheat sheet if you need a helping hand. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. This is not what I thought it was! Oh my god, Chris is out of control! I know! Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV! Oh. Sing I listen. <laughs> <gasps> Bo Peep! What, what's going on here? Um, you've got a friend in me? Oh! You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. Hey, Grover, catch! What's wrong? We're just being honest. Oh, oh, you want honest? You're an old bag. You're blind. Your vomit tastes weird. You don't even know why you're here. You chose to be on the hills. You still have bits of penis left, and you can never get wet. And you, you're more of a woman than anyone else in this room! Get him! <laughs> And we've got quite a match tonight between Heavy Flow and another woman whose name I've forgotten, but I'm sure is a gross pun. Right you are, Bill. Tonight she's up against Her Majesty's Secret Cervix. <laughs> Interesting fact, these two gals have over eight meters of ass crack between them. One, two, three! It's over, and once again, a Heavy Flow has ruined another lady's evening. Any thoughts on the fight, Floyd? I, I think that they are they are going to have they are going to be fighting Deirdre's last fight in the contrast to the later one is going to be be better than usually. And how do you think that helps her chances tonight? Well, uh, the match lasted about up, up until the particular inaccuracy, particular unusually that that should be the ultimate determinant factor in about the twelve round experience. Heart of a champion, margarine hat. Well, we'll be watching for that. We'll be checking in with you throughout the night, Floyd. And happy twenty third birthday. You're welcome. Hey guys, how about a little TV? We can watch a baby thing together. Baby Einstein, Muppet Babies, uh, what's CSI Babies? What's this? They can't solve this crime, they're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime, they just know their parents aren't there. They're scared, now I'm scared. Turn this off! Ah, that's not what I want! Ah, I'm gonna go hide in my couch fort! Is CSI Babies over yet? I know I'm a man of God, but that shit is hot! Well, what'd you find? I'll be honest. I think this is a conversation best had over dinner. Oh, uh, okay. So what's going on with the house? I don't like talking business at the table. Let's just enjoy our wine. You're right, I'm sorry. Your wife's asleep. Sometimes she fakes it so I can't hump her, but this seems legit. So, uh... Shouldn't we talk about what you found at our house? I don't know. It's so late. Say you're not gonna have sex with me. What? Just say it. I'm not gonna have sex with you. Ah! Guys, let me out of here! No, you said you would do whatever's necessary to help you lose weight. Please, let me out! Glenn, is it okay if I stay the night? <laughs> Rancor? What are you doing here? I'm trying to diet too. Eating too many pig guys? I thought it was the pig guys, but you know what? It was the bread. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. 
So, how's it coming? Are we gonna finish on schedule? I don't know, Mr. Escher. I've never put six stairways all in one spot, and I've lost like ten of my guys in here. Hey, I need a hammer! I hate this place! I quit! Ugh.